On November 7th, voters in the City of St. Paul will use the ranked voting method to elect the mayor. Ranked voting was first used in St. Paul in 2011 to elect members to the City Council. Voters will have the option to rank up to six candidates for mayor or the total number of candidates running for the office, whichever is less. Below each choice is a list of all candidates running for office, as well as a line for a write-in vote. How do you vote using ranked voting? Select your first choice by filling in the box next to that candidate's name in the first choice column. If you have a second choice, move to the second choice column and fill in the box next to that candidate's name. Continue this process to select any remaining choices you may have. Voters are not required to rank more than one candidate and can rank as many or as few candidates as they please. To avoid making mistakes, do not select more than one candidate for a single choice. Do not select the same candidate for more than one choice. And never write in numbers. Instead, always fill in the box next to the candidate's name. If you make a mistake when voting your ballot, you may request a new ballot from an election judge. The St. Paul School Board race, located on the other side of the ballot, does not use the ranked voting method. School board members will be elected using the traditional voting method. How does a candidate win the election using the ranked voting method? A candidate wins the election by getting an absolute majority of first choice votes, 50% plus one. If no candidate receives a majority of first choice votes on election day, a reallocation to determine a winner will begin on Thursday, November 9th. For more information about ranked voting and the reallocation process, see the Ramsey County Elections website at rcelections.org.